Good morning, grade 5 students. It's Ms. Lilian again, and today we're going to introduce a new grammar chapter concerning adjectives. Adjectives are words we use to describe a noun or pronoun. Adjectives are information gatherers. Specifically, they provide further information about an object's size, shape, age, color, origin, or material. Adjectives are usually placed after verb B, when available, such as the class is big, or before the nouns, such as music teacher, and in such cases, the modifying nouns have the same form before singular and plural nouns, and we call it a noun modifier. Thus, adjectives, in fact, are usually placed after verb B when it's available, so when we have verb B, we have the adjective after it, but sometimes verb B isn't available, like the example here as music teacher. So we just look at the noun and we place the adjective before it. And in this case, we usually call the noun a noun modifier because it is telling us more information about the noun. Example number one, we have they are tall and here we have the subject they followed by verb be or and then the adjective tall and number two you have noor is a gorgeous girl noor is the subject is is verb be gorgeous is the adjective and girl is the noun so here you have the word gorgeous after verb be and then the same time before the noun and number three you have they are football players. They is the subject. Or is verb be. Football is the noun modifier. And players is the noun. Thus football is telling us more information about players. It's the adjective, but we call it a noun modifier since it's modifying the noun. Be careful. Adjectives do not follow nouns. Do not add s to adjectives. They have the same form before singular and plural nouns. So even if the noun is singular or plural, the adjective does not change. It's always the same. You can't add as to an adjective if the noun is plural. So if you go back to the first example in, uh, we took in the first slide, you have they are football players. We can say they are football's players. Although players is plural, we keep football as a singular adjective. Thus, they have the same form before singular and plural nouns. When an adjective comes before a singular count noun, use a or an before the adjective. Use a before the adjective if it begins with a consonant sound. Like she's a tall woman. He has a long face. Tall and long are the adjectives. T and L are consonants, so we use a. Use an before the adjective if it begins with a vowel sound. She has an old watch. It's an unusual name. Old and unusual are the adjectives. O and U are the vowels. We know the vowels are five letters. O, U, I, A, and E. So whenever we have one of these five letters, we always use an and not a. Remember, be and have are common irregular verbs. These verbs are commonly used with adjectives or adjectives plus nouns to describe people and things. We can use be plus an adjective alone. I am short, he isn't tall, and they are smart. So you only have the subject followed by verb to be or verb be and then the adjective, short, tall, smart. Or you can have an adjective plus a noun, plus a noun with 
have. So I have blonde hair. They don't have long hair. And she has brown hair. You have verb have here. I have. Verb have. Then the adjective blonde. And then the noun hair. They don't have. Verb have again. Long is the adjective. And here is the noun. She has. Has as verb have from verb have, singular of verb have, and then the adjective, brown, and then the noun, hair. We use be, not have, to talk about age. So whenever you are asked about age, you must use verb be and not verb have. I am 21 years old and not I have 21 years. So when talking about age, we always use verb be. I am and not I have. Uses of adjectives. Adjectives tell the reader how much or how many of something you're talking about, which thing you want passed to you or which kind of something you want. So it specifies exactly of how many or how much of the something you're talking about. Please use three white flowers in the arrangement. So by using the adjectives three and white, we knew more about the flowers needed to be used in the arrangement. Often when adjectives are used together, you should separate them with a comma or a conjunction. I'm looking for a small comma, good tempered dog to keep as a pet or my new dog is small and good-tempered. So when we are using adjectives together, two or more adjectives, we must put a comma or a conjunction to separate them. Order of adjectives. When you list several adjectives in a row, there's a specific order they need to go in. Native English speakers tend to put them in the correct order naturally. But if you're learning English, you'll have to memorize the order. It goes like this. Letter minor or an article like a, an, or da. A number or amount, a possessive adjective like my, his, her, its, your, our, their. Or a demonstrative like this, that, these, those. Followed by an observation or opinion your opinion about the thing you're talking about, like beautiful, expensive, gorgeous, broken, delicious, followed by the size, huge, tiny, four foot tall, then the shape, how is the shape of the thing you're, thing you're describing, square, singular, circular, and then the age, 10 years old or new or antique, and we know that antique is a word we took before, and it refers to something that's very old. The color of it, then the origin, where is it made? Roman, English, Mongolian, Lebanese, Arabic, French. Then the material used to make the object, like silk, silver, plastic, wooden. And then the qualifier, which is a noun or verb acting as an adjective. This is the correct cumulative order for adjectives that come directly before a noun. They are not separated by commas. So whenever you use this exact order, you don't need to put commas. Let us look here. My, the term minor, followed by beautiful, yeah, the opinion. The per this person thinks that the thing he's talking about is beautiful. It's his opinion. Then the size, big. Then the shape circular then the age antique we said it shows that it's really old then the color brown then the origin english then the material used wooden and then the qualifier coffee table was broken in the move so here we use no commas and we had my beautiful big circular antique brown english wooden coffee table was broken in the move. Hope that everything was easy for you and that everything was completely clear. For any further information, don't hesitate to contact me 
to answer your questions. Thank you for listening carefully and stay safe.